Compartment syndrome of the hand and finger. Compartment syndromes of the hand often result from iatrogenic injuries due to IVs or A-lines. Other etiologies include snake bites, crush injuries to the hand, burns, trauma, and prolonged pressure. Anatomy of the hand. The hand has 10 muscle compartments. Here you can see the metacarpals. 4 dorsal interosei, 3 volar interosei, 1 hypothenar compartment, and 1 thenar compartment. And finally, 1 adductor pollicis compartment. Clinical presentation of the hand. Hypothesia on the volar surface of the fingers. Tenderness in the palm. Weakness of thumb opposition and limited flexion. Pain with passive abduction and extension of the thumb. Passive extension of the little finger causes pain in hypothenar eminence. Limited little finger flexion. Intrinsic plus hand deformity with flexion of MCP joints and extension of IP joints. And finally, pain with flexion of IP joints. Clinical sign to differentiate between forearm and hand compartment syndrome. With forearm compartment syndrome, there will be pain with passive extension of the fingers. With hand compartment syndrome, there will be pain with flexion of the IP joints. Here's an example for pressure measurement of the hand. A fasciotomy is needed if the compartmental pressure is greater than 30 millimeters mercury or within 30 millimeters mercury of the diastolic pressure. Performing fasciotomy of the hand. Two dorsal incisions of the hand are done in line with the second and fourth metacarpals. Dorsal incisions alone may not be enough. Additional incisions and or a carpal tunnel release may be necessary. An incision may be necessary to release the thanar compartment. The incision is made along the radial aspect of the first metacarpal in order to release the thanar compartment. Release of the hypothenar compartment may also be necessary. The incision is made along the ulnar aspect of the fifth metacarpal to release the hypothenar compartment. Carpal tunnel release is sometimes needed in association with compartment syndrome. The median nerve passes through the carpal tunnel where it may be compressed by swelling to cause carpal tunnel syndrome. Fasciotomy of the finger. A mid-axial incision is given on the ulnar side of the index, middle, and ring fingers and the radial side of the small finger. Dissect across the digit superficial to the flexor tendon sheath. The neurovascular bundles are retracted volarly and dissection completed across the digit. I was jumping rope and I tripped. I fell on my hand and it's swollen. Can you help me, please? Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.